How old is too old for someone to be doing van life full time or at least taking these trips that are a month long or longer and trying to stay in their van, their vehicle every night? Let's put it in terms of people with driver's licenses. I've known people that were in their early 90s and looked like they were 60 years old and drove better than most people, even younger. So you can't put this down to age. Now, granted, those of us in our 40s and as we get into our 50s and 60s and 70s, we're going to look at things different from people who are 20 and 30. And let's be honest, I'm probably not in as good a shape as I was at 30 years old. If you're older than 30 years old, you may not be in as good a shape as you were at 30 years old or 40 years old or whatever either. But the only thing that really matters is do you enjoy this? Do you enjoy your time on the road? Or if you haven't started doing this yet, is it going to add value to your life? Are you going to enjoy being out on the road and adventuring and meeting people? And if the answer is yes, then age doesn't matter. All that matters is being happy. And I think as we all get older, we're all looking a little more for happiness. Because when we were 21, we all thought we were invincible. And as we've gotten older, we have found out we may not be as invincible as we once thought we were. And that's just normal for everybody. So you can't look at things that 20 and 25 year olds are doing out in this lifestyle and the things that they're putting, some of them are putting themselves through because they're working a, a job and they're trying to live on the street a block away from where they work and those sorts of things because the older people doing that generally are doing it in a little bit different way. So it's apples and oranges. You can't really compare the two. I don't know exactly where the cutoff is, but I think there comes a point for all of us that we just hit an age that our priorities change. There used to be, you know, jokes about, for men especially, about midlife crisis. I don't know. Maybe this is mine. And if it is, that's okay. Maybe it's your midlife crisis. And if it is, that's okay. Maybe you're past the midlife crisis stage and this is what you want to do for now or maybe for the rest of your life. Maybe this is the choice you've made. There's nothing wrong with that as long as it makes you happy. But the real question is this. What kind of reaction, especially if you guys and gals that haven't actually started this yet, you're thinking about it, or you're just beginning your journey, you need to understand, and I made a whole video on this, regardless of age, you're going to get some reactions that you probably don't want from your friends and family. When you start talking about van life, or you start talking about going out in an RV full time, any type of camper van, any, any type of, of this kind of lifestyle, you're, if you're expecting a lot of pats on the back and a lot of positive comments from people, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. And I think sometimes other people's opinion that have no interest in this and don't understand this, unfortunately, that hinders and stops a lot of people that want to do it from doing it. So if you've run into that situation, you really need to watch this video and understand why the people are acting the way they're acting and saying the things to you that they say to you. So you will be able to handle it and not let that play into your decision making too much. And this goes not only for van life, but this goes for most other things in life, anything in life that involves you stepping outside of your normal comfort zone or you stepping outside of their comfort zone. But if you've had reactions for people on the road, either because you're too young to be doing this, or you're too old to be doing this, or whatever their opinion may be, let me know down in the comment section. 
Let me know what they said to you and different things that you've had to deal with. Because again, we all learn from each other. And it will really help the people out that are kind of new at this or looking at this. Some of you guys and gals that have already experienced this and have a little experience being on the road. So the people watching this video won't only get my opinion, but they'll get your opinion of these things too, because a lot of the viewers do actually go through and read these comments. As for what's coming up, there's some repair videos, some body work videos on things I did to that large white van. There's some other things with the minivan. There's going to be some things with van life in general that should answer some other questions that you may have. Of course, at any time, you can click on my name there, Budget Travel Guy. It'll jump you over to that page with categories. So you can see the videos that are of most interest to you right now, whether you're new to van life or there's a set of videos if you're looking to buy your first van or your next van. Different things like that. Interesting places I've been that don't cost a lot of money. Whatever your interest is, you should find a playlist there that will have videos, hopefully, that will help you out. Never hesitate to tell me down in the comments what I can do or what I can make a video on that will help you out or answer a question you have, and we'll talk soon.